What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Molly back again with another pickup video. I know it's been a month since my last one, but I've pretty much just been enjoying the summer weather. Now that the weather's starting to go, you know, right into fall, you're definitely gonna see me pick up all these videos again because I'll be picking up a ton of clothing this fall and winter. My favorite seasons, I love layering. I think it speaks for itself. But without further ado, as you can see from the title below, I was able to get my hands on the first drop from the Fall Collection 2. The Skate Highs. So these are one of two shoes that Dre Lorenzo has coming out in collaboration with PacSun with his Diffusion line. Right here you see the box. There's nothing really particularly special about the box, sadly. I was kind of hoping we got some thin limited edition, something, you know, something that makes you stand out from your everyday fans. Only place you'll know that this is a fall band is on the tag. The shoe title, Skate High 38 Reissue. You're gonna have the colorway in parentheses fog, so this is the fog colorway for our band. The black birch, I'm guessing birch is that tan color that we see that offsets the black. You're also gonna know that this is a size 11. I was able to pick this up for a friend. Congratulations, Sean, I was able to get these for you. I'm happy I could get these for you, even though there's only one per customer. And for those that asked for me to proxy these, I'm sorry I couldn't get these to you. But size US 11, UK 10, open box, pretty much nothing super spectacular. Took a few pictures for Sean, so that's why you don't see the tissue paper, it's below the shoe. But as I pull the shoe out, you see here, really, really nice shoe. Like I said, this is a size 11. You notice your standard skate high sole in a kind of light bone colorway. It's not a true white, not an eggshell white, somewhere right in between there as well. You'll also notice the white stripe across the side. I know a lot of people saw the sample pictures that didn't have the white stripe. It was just an X there. I don't know if they just didn't sew it on yet or if Jerry was you know, messing, with, messing around with materials. I personally liked it with an all black cover and the crazy contrast between the toe and the, you know, the sole. But at the end of the day, it looks really, really good. I can't say I see any problems with the stitching. Like I said, PacSun and Jerry Lorenzo really stepped up when I first dropped the quality. It's really, really good. And only for 100 bucks USD, I know there were some rumors about it being 200. Can't beat them at that price. Behind the tongue, you won't be able to see it from here, but I know a lot of people will be looking to pick this up on the, you know, pretty much on the secondary market. For those guys that are looking to do that, I'll definitely make sure I'll take some pictures, detailed, detailed pictures at the end for you to look through to make sure you know you're buying a legit pair because they can replicate easy boots or they can replicate fear of God boots. I want to make sure that when you're picking these up that you know you're getting a legitimate pair since they're so rare. My store only have 15. I think the most I've heard about any store having is like 24, like two of every size. But back to the shoe, you'll have fog behind the tongue. You got this size tag right under that. You're gonna have nice squishy sole. I'm not super into men, so I don't wear them too often. But comfort wise, it does seem like it's gonna be a pretty big, big, comfortable shoe. And then you can also have, which I'm guessing most standard bands in Skate High probably don't have. Again, this is my ignorance to them, so I could be wrong here. But it is leather all along the collar in here, all the way down, all the way to where your Achilles would hit. All leather, which I think is a really, really nice premium material. And then my favorite part about the shoe, at least in the colorway, is this toe. It's kind of new buff suede material. It's not super nappy, not really flat either. But I love that color, that tan, what they call birch in the box. I absolutely love it. On the sole, pretty much gum bottom, you know, honeycomb pattern. Pretty, pretty simple. Again, no excess blue problems. There is a Vans logo back here. It's kind of in a white on white colorway, so it's really hard to see unless you're looking at it. Again, no stitching problems, no size problems. I mean, no stitching problems, no blue problems. Everything was pretty on point with the pair that I got for you. As you pull out the other shoe, what you're gonna find on the left shoe, if you're buying a legit pair, you're gonna find the Vans tag and make sure that's there. You're also gonna have the black lace bag, and then you're also gonna have another, what looks to be another off-white kind of tan colored lace as well. You're gonna have that there as well. Here's a look at the other shoe. I mean, I think skate highs pretty much speak for themselves. What you're getting here is a nice quality constructed shoe. You're getting another shoe that you're also paying a slight upcharge for the name, of course, but we're also gonna have the shoe that not too many people are gonna have since it was an in-store only release. Pretty much that means only the US has access to it right now. So if you are overseas, it's only one way to get it is to pay those high prices. And I know people are really charging a lot for these from the only retail 100, but if you really want them, you gotta go out there and get it. Me personally, I passed on them, they would get them for someone else. But when it comes to the lows, that's what I'm really after. Can't wait to get my hands on those. I think that print looks amazing on the low end, and I think that print, while it's not super gaudy, I think it does kind of contradict what Jerry said. He doesn't want his brand to be super gaudy, but 
I think it looks amazing. I can't wait to get that in. You can definitely get on foot shots of those once I get them. But without further ado, I'll let you see some detailed shots of these. That means you can see the shoe up close and personal. Let me know below if you able to get a pair. Let me know below if you weren't. And let what you truly think about the shoe. All right, till next time, YouTube.